Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to take a look at the George iPod speaker dock from Chestnut Hill Sound and see if we can get it working with an iPhone 14 running iOS 16. Now what's the big deal here? I mean I've already done videos on using modern iPhones with old iPod speaker docks before. I had one earlier this year with Apple's iPod Hi-Fi. Well the George device here does something very special. It actually can extract the metadata from your iPod song library and display it on its remote cloning or mimicking the iPod experience right in your hands. And the remote is right here and pops off and it communicates back to the base with RF instead of infrared, has a nice backlit screen and it has this little jog and shuttle dial here that you can get through all your songs and artists with your four function buttons that were on the old click wheel are right here on the side and it even has a series of jump buttons that let you navigate through the alphabet very quickly if you have a large library. So the George speaker dock came out before the iPhone. If you go through the manual and you see the system requirements it's going to talk about fourth and fifth generation iPods as well as the mini and the nano. So what we're going to do here is take an entirely different product, the iPhone, with an entirely different operating system, an operating system that has been updated 15 times since its inception, and in the middle of it we've gone through a massive connector change from 30 pin to lightning. So the question is, will all of those features, being able to scroll through your songs and your artists and your albums and see all that metadata right on the screen, is that still going to work in 2022 with an iPhone 14? Let's get started. Okay, so I have Apple's 30 pin to lightning adapter plugged in here. Now I used to have a bracket that would go around this and support an iPhone on top so it wouldn't break the 30 pin connector. Unfortunately, I don't have that bracket anymore. I sold it with some other things. So what I've done here is plug in a lightning extension cable and run it into the back of Apple's lightning dock. So this is just essentially a long extension cable. No adaptations going on here. All of that is happening inside the little white adapter from Apple. So let me put in my iPhone 14. We do get charging. This is USB charging on this dock so we don't have to use that Scotia adapter that I had to on the iPod Hi-Fi. So let me move the camera down here a little bit and let's take a look. So there is a similar interface to what we're used to with an iPod. Um, looks like all my songs are here on the iPhone. Um, albums, yep, they're there. What about audiobooks and podcasts? Those are actually accessed in individual apps on the iPhone now. But as you can see, there's a podcast and here's an audiobook. No problems. There is no difference between time and any of the three dimensions of space, except that our consciousness moves along it. Okay, so let's go back and I'm going to go up to playlists and we will play some YouTube friendly music. All of the metadata is there. Simple controls work. So what about streaming music? Well, to do that we're going to have to turn down the volume so we don't get a content hit. And what I'll do is request some music that I don't have locally on my phone. Hey Siri, play songs from the weekend. Wow, look at that. Apple Music streaming down to this speaker dock and broadcast over to the remote and we are getting the metadata from it and controlling it. That is cool. Let's take it a step further. Hey Siri, play songs from Dua Lipa on Spotify. Look at that. Even Spotify's metadata comes through and I'm able to control it. That 
is crazy and very, very impressive. Okay, so I want to show you one more cool thing. We're going to go into iPod settings and look at this, about iPod. This would display information about whatever iPod you had plugged into the George speaker dock. What do you think it'll say about an iPhone? Let's check it out. Well, look at that. It knows the name of my iPhone, Tron. It's got serial number, uh, some other information, but look at the very bottom. Firmware 16.2. It knows it's iOS 16.2. Isn't that amazing? It's like they're using the same format for the old firmware OS on the iPods. I thought that was really cool. Okay, so one cool thing the Apple Watch can do is control your phone. And as you can see here, I've got the metadata of the song up on my Apple Watch as well as the George remote. So let's start something up. As I skip each song, it changes on the watch. Pretty neat. So yes, the iPhone 14 works perfectly with the old George iPod speaker dock and its advanced features in displaying metadata on its remote control. I would love to have had this back in the day instead of the crappy little remote control I had where I could just skip through songs across the room. This would have been great. Unfortunately, I believe this might be the end of the road for the George speaker dock and other ones like it. And that is, we all know that Apple's got to move to USB-C. The European Union is mandating it. Uh, we don't know, but the rumor is they might go ahead and just do it next year with the iPhone 15. We'll see. And it's up to Apple really to make a lightning to USB-C adapter. Now there are some third party ones out there, but they're very, very narrow in their focus. Some of them only do uh, power and some of them only convert a very small number of lightning headphones or earbuds to USB-C. And those don't work with the 30 pin to lightning adapter. So Apple really needs to do this, and it's odd that they haven't. Uh, we all know they love to sell adapters, so I'm kind of skeptical that they're ever going to do it. I mean, they've been moving the iPads to USB-C for years and have not made this adapter. So maybe just with the sheer number of iPhone users versus iPad users will be enough for Apple to make this adapter, but I'm kind of skeptical. I, I hope so, but I don't know. I, I think they would have made it by now, so... They'll have to make a general purpose one that works with all of the devices, the lightning devices would have to specifically work with the 30 pin adapter. So even if they make it, it may not work with this. I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is put the George into storage, wait and see what happens next year. And if they move to USB-C and they make the adapter, then we'll pull the George out of storage and see if we can get one more generation of devices to work with it. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this video and for the rest of the year. I hope everybody has happy holidays, and I will see you in the new year. That's all for now. Take care.